video is made possible by 343 Studios. All right, guys. So we are here at the Family Worship Center, as you can hopefully tell. Uh, so the um, Intimidator 360s I used at the Crestwood Valentine's Day dance with DJ Will. These things did phenomenal, as any Chave Intimidator line of uh, moving heads does. I do just have it here in a show, uh, an auto show. Uh, it does fairly good for what, uh, what it is. Now I will go ahead and turn on just one of the lights here in the uh, room, just so you can kind of see it just a little bit. Um, however, the, if you're gonna use this on standalone mode, uh, you really need to have some sort of DMX fixture. It does have, uh, you can go in and, and that's probably something I need to do is just adjust the focus in this bigger room. But the, without the, the little manual focus, this thing is blurry. Uh, it does have a motorized focus inside of it, but you have to use that with either the manual settings that are in it. You can self adjust it by moving some settings up and down or with a DMX controller, sound switch, my DMX go, anything like that. It is a really good moving head. I think it's super great. Um, the X from what I can tell is better than the original 360 Intimidator series. Uh, and I, I honestly am glad I upgraded. I did get rid of my 260s. These things are super phenomenal. I do like the textured feel that they have to them. Uh, they are super great, uh, as you can see here. Uh, I will go ahead and probably put this in a manual mode. I, I do like this mode here where it shuts off, turns on, comes back up. Super great uh, option there. Uh, it does have a lot of totem mode effects in it that are great for totems. This is the first time it's actually just set on top of a totem. Uh, my next deal is probably going to be getting two 260Xs so I can run two 360s and two 260s. Hopefully I can DMX them all together if I do decide to just run them on a master slave show. But I am going, as you heard in the last video, to be switching to sound switch very, very soon, hopefully. Uh, I'm in the process of learning some stuff online. Again, those of you that make sound switch videos, thank you much. Uh, I think I'm going to spend the money and go into sound switch. So, uh, Hopefully we can uh, get some cool stuff done with that. Uh, I will be showing a video clip here, uh, maybe from uh, something that I'm going to be picking up. DJ Daryl has a lot of cool gig videos and he also has a lot of product reviews. Now he did a review on a flight case from Rockville that's black, kind of has like a, um, I call it like a honeycomb look to it. Uh, looks super great. The uh, video aspect, of uh, his videos are super great. He's, he's going somewhere. So make sure if you haven't done so, go check out DJ Daryl. Uh, link will be in the description. Uh, he had a flight case from Rockville that would fit his big, I think they were 140 hybrids. The same flight case will fit this moving kit. Actually, it'll fit a lot of the new Intimidator lines. So make sure that you check those out. Uh, again, link to that video will be in the description. I will be getting one of those and I will be doing a video on that as well but if you want to get a chance to look at it before i post a video about it then go check out his channel you'll be glad you did so anyway dj daryl if you're watching this thank you so much for all your uh, continued support uh, with the dj line uh world but i'm going to go ahead and get you guys some uh, footage of this thing working i just have one with me right now and uh we'll kind of hopefully adjust the focus here and make it look a little better so again thanks for watching thanks to all the new subscribers Peter we actually have two of them now DJ Mike James is actually starting to edit a lot of his videos I've taught him a lot of stuff so hopefully that uh, will be uh, something different again if you haven't done so go check out DJ Mike James channel he's over 900 subscribers let's get him to a thousand we're gonna have a big live stream for a thousand subscribers um, gonna be awesome we're gonna have me uh, we're probably gonna get some other people in try to do kind of a DJ kind of thousand subscriber deal or something, it's gonna be awesome. Check this out. Chave Intimidator 360X. Very nice light, you should check it out. All right guys, you're checking out some footage here from Crestwood's uh, Valentine's Day dance uh, that me and DJ Will did to cover for DJ Mike James. And uh, you get some, see some footage here of the uh, Intimidator 360Xs uh, working. Uh, these are set in Master Slave and they are set in Totem mode. And I believe they're in either auto or sound active. I can't quite remember uh, what I had them set on, but I uh, hope you enjoy. They are definitely a great light. They are bright. 
they do have a lot of functions and if you're using these things for DMX they're gonna look even better I am getting ready to switch to D, uh, DMX software called sound switch so I am super excited about that and it's gonna definitely improve my lighting show so if you're in the market for some moving heads and you want some good Chauvet ones, check out the Intimidator 360X. So I wanted to show you just how close, this is set to the lowest setting. So if you're running these on totems, that's about the area that you're gonna get for your presentation. I was able to focus this in a little bit using the manual adjuster here on the front, but that is all the way tipped down. As you can see, it gets probably six, 10 feet away from your actual lighting setup, which if you're wanting that, you don't want to, you know, the blind people super close that's probably perfect now i'm going to go ahead and set this thing up on the wall just so you can see the different patterns it has trust me it's got some cool ones all right again so i don't know if this camera on my phone my other camera has went dead so filming this on the phone i right, cleaned off my lenses a little bit as you can see great coverage i just have this going through a variety of the settings as you can see it over there again we're not using haze just because uh, they are going to be having a Zumba class or something in here this afternoon. They ask us not to use Haze, so we uh, go by their wishes because they are kind enough to let us use this gym anytime we need it to shoot awesome content for you guys. I really like the, uh, like those. And where's the other one at? Wait for it. That one's cool. Kind of reminds me of the hazmat. And of course the three dots. You could also make these set uh to where you could use these for a you know just a spotlight if you wanted a static gobo to shine up at your ceiling you could have two of these you don't even have to use dmx uh, there's just so many endless ways that you can shoot this uh, light into different areas without using dmx and that's the cool thing that chave wants new djs that haven't quite learned dmx djs that like me that have been doing it for a couple of years now that still just uses an analog controller but is moving to sound switch hopefully very soon um been kind of watching dj daryl and dj rick webb's videos on that so super cool here again i'll see if i can get maybe closer to where the beam is just so you can see it i will incorporate some uh, video here from the gig that we did use haze at super bright 100 watt led um, i believe they moved the calvin up on it so it's a little bit technically brighter uh, even though it still is just 100 watt led so anyway i really like it but as you can just see my silhouette here it, it is very cool to have something like this in my arsenal in my setup again i'm going to be getting two 60s uh, later on this year i have a high school uh, dance coming up this fall and i want to rock that place we're going to be getting some new speakers uh, one of the djs that i am currently uh, friends with and associated with and i'm glad that he was uh, reaching out to me dj buddy from tbm productions has given me a lot of advice uh, a lot of know-how and uh, I'm gonna be buying I think some speakers off of him I've been contemplating it but uh, I think I'm going to because I saw and helped DJ Mike James film one of his newest videos with some fly points and I have an idea of something I want to do so we've got uh, we've got a cool dance coming up in the fall and he's got some cool stuff going on so make sure you subscribe to him uh, show him some love uh, he's actually staying on the other side of the camera right now as I'm saying this so Let's get him to a thousand subscribers. Uh, you guys check out the link in the description. Uh, you can buy these from several different vendors, uh, Shave directly, uh, VIP Pro Audio. Uh, you can get these off Amazon, eBay. Sometimes you can find some good deals. They are running, uh, if you pay full price, they're about a thousand to eleven $1 hundred dollars. Uh, if you find these on sale, you can find these on sale as low as seven hundred bucks, like I did. So, uh, super, super happy with the choice I made there. I kind of, kind of just kept taking on oh I'll get it eventually and then the price finally dropped and I picked him up so got two of these we'll be getting a flight case for him hopefully sometime in the next few months 
and uh, we'll see. I would like to see one of these have a flight case with a, um, you know, that would hold four of them if you were to, you know, that type that you would need four of them. But super great little option here if you're looking for a little brighter moving head for the bigger stage productions. It does have a clamp uh, that holds great. It does have a safety cable lock on it. DMX in, DMX out, I think, possibly. Um, doesn't have a switch on it. That's the only thing I wish it would. As soon as you plug it in, this thing fires up. It does make some noises at the beginning. Let me know if your guys' units are making a little like a like riding kind of noise at the beginning. It's not like a like it's hurting the unit. Obviously, it's when it's going through its reset program. Uh, but yeah, so check it out. Chauvet Intimidator 360. Check them out. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.